Look, you know it had to be a tough room there, Chris, because while it's not every Democratic senator calling for Menendez's resignation, it is the large part of that. More than half of the caucus has now called for him to step down in the aftermath of this indictment. Menendez, though, is continuing to double down on his stance that he's not going anywhere, that he'll beat these charges, and that when it's all said and done, he will remain the senior senator from New Jersey. That seems to be a message that's similar to what we would have expected him to deliver in that room though in catching up with him in the immediate moments after he exited he seems to say that this is the message that he brought to his colleagues is going to stay for his colleagues alone this is what he told our reporting team watch we'll continue to cast votes on behalf of the people of New Jersey as I have for 18 years and oh, I'm oh, sure oh. when they need those votes they'll be looking forward for me to cast those votes That footage from our great intern, Lori, who caught up with the senator as he was leaving that lunch. What he says there, though, is both fact and also potentially a subtle threat there. Yes, Menendez has been a steady Democratic vote, but it's also a reference to the extremely tight margins that Senate Democrats have to control the Senate chamber. It's a reminder that, yes, they need his vote. Even if he were to resign, though, I do think it's important for us to keep in mind the Democratic governor of New Jersey would likely appoint a Democrat to fill this seat. It's not like the balance of power would change. Nevertheless, Menendez reminding of why they need him, at least while he's still in the building.